Hello and welcome to the Thought Leader Lounge. I'm so excited to see you all on Monday. I know some of you, it's later in the day. Some of you, it's quite early in the morning on the West Coast of the US. I'm so happy that we get to be together. And those of you joining us on social, hello, happy Monday and welcome to the Thought Leader Lounge. I'm your host, Sarah Cannell, and I'm a best-selling author and the founder of Thought Leader Academy, which is our incredible community that helps coaches, experts, entrepreneurs, course creators, visionaries, 10x their impact and income by becoming best-selling authors, in-demand speakers, giving TEDx talks, going on podcast tours, doing shows like this, all things that we call thought leadership. So the lounge is here because I know some of you are joining us streaming on the platforms for the first time. And the Thought Leader Lounge is here so that we get to start Mondays in a powerful place. We get to make every week at this beginning of the week, we make a decision because our decisions determine our destiny. We make a decision to make this the best week ever so far. And then next week is the best week so far. And next week, the best week so far. So I'm really excited that you're here. Those of us joining live in the Zoom room, I'm so thrilled that you're joining us. If you're on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube, and you want to come in the Zoom room on Mondays where you'll get to um, just hang with me and the other incredible leaders that are in the Zoom room live, please feel free to just email care at sarahcannell.com and you um, can then uh, get in the Zoom room. We'll be able to send you the link and you'll get invited to the Zoom room every week. And we'd love to see you on Zoom. I know I'm so glad we've got Molly and Beth and Kelly and Don already here. Um, uh, just uh, our beloved Thought Leader Academy members and uh, would love to have all of you um, join us in the Zoom room. So care at sarahcanal.com. We'll get you the link to the Zoom room. There's no cost and we'd love to have you. Okay, so today in the lounge, we're gonna do something that is has created epic results in my uh, career as an author, uh, as a thought leader, as a CEO of a multi-seven figure year business. And those of you that haven't been hanging out with me for very long, um, you uh, may be interested to know that about six or so years ago, I couldn't make more than $50,000 in a year as a writer and coach. I just, I knew that I was doing the work I'm here to do. I knew that I was um, saying yes to my purpose and my calling. I developed my craft. I've done you know 17 different master's degrees and certifications and trainings. And I, I knew that I had the gifts to give. But I didn't know how to um, be visible. I didn't know how to get my work out in the world. I didn't know how to make that work revenue generating in a way that could care for my family and causes I care about and, um, you know, pay for our home and all of those things. So if that resonates with you, if you're on Zoom, maybe put me in the chat if, if you've had a, you know, frustration, you've, you've got a bigger vision than your reality is matching up with. And you know that you've got greatness and you know that you've got more in you, you know, there's the next level, but you just don't like, you're not seeing it in the bank account or on your, you know, numbers on social media or your email list. And yeah. And I think always those of us that are called to, um, to be thought leaders, I think that we're always going to have a next level. You know, I just think we'll probably, if if you study anyone from Maharishi in the yoga tradition to Abraham Hicks in the law of attraction work, or you talk to uh, Rod Stryker in the, um, you know, the world of personal development, or, you know, you can look at many, many different um, philosophical, spiritual, psychological, neuroscientific, um, you can go straight science, nothing woo-woo about it. And what you're going to find at the core of so many of these um, research studies and teachings and, and explorations from great leaders is that we have a life libido, right? We think of libido as a sex drive, but it's a life drive. We have a life libido. We, we came here to do great things. We came here to contribute. We came here to share. We came here to serve. We came here to, to experience and, 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 self-actualize, I believe. And many of these studies in traditional work. So we're going to desire um, to grow and growth is life. So it's good to not have done it all because we'd be really freaking bored if we didn't have something else on the vision board or desire. And it's not about chasing more because we're trying to fill a hole. 
Um, I don't think that's you guys. It's not where I am, you know, um, sometimes that's earlier in life or whatever, but, but when it's a soul calling, right. So I wanted to talk about ways that we can manifest and fulfill that deeper, that bigger vision that comes from the core of who we are. Right. And so that's what I want to um, work on today in the lounge. We're going to do um, a, a strategy that I have found very powerful. And then you can try it out this week and then we'll come back next week and, and see how it goes. Right. So that's what we do in the lounge. Sometimes we're doing a strategy, a practice, a framework. Sometimes we've got a guest on and, um, and, and this is what we're about because the goal is we leave the lounge every Monday feeling like higher vibe than when we came in and that we feel empowered to, to take action this week, to, to just, you know, make that next jump, that next step. And something that's so underrated and it's not the strategy I'm teaching, but I feel like it's a, pre a preface or something you can kind of pull from the toolbox in complement to what we're going to do, which is that, you know, action is the antidote to fear. Action is the antidote to imposter syndrome. If we're scared, we're not good enough, or we haven't done enough, or someone's going to think whatever, then when we take one more step to get a little bit better at the, our craft, or we send one more email that we, that we figured out our messaging, or we put one more opportunity out there for someone to work with us, or we write the next page of our book, we're going to feel a lot less like an imposter. We're going to feel a lot less afraid that nothing will happen, that we'll what I call have tree falling syndrome, right? Where you're in the woods and you're this big, wonderful tree making this great sound and no one can hear it, right? We're gonna, we're gonna eradicate that with action. Okay, so that's just kind of a compliment to this. So the strategy we're gonna work today is um, really has its roots in neuroscience, which I am obsessed with and love. So, you know, if that, that speaks to you. Um, and, and this is about brain priming. This is about brain training. It's about reprogramming. And the strategy is to ask some powerful questions of ourselves at the beginning of the week so that we create a new result. Now, if you've studied how results happen, right, they're not random. It's not like, you know, someone makes a million dollars or makes $20 and it's the same that, you know, it's not random, right? That there's a sequence and it starts with our thoughts, right? Thought leadership leads our thoughts. It actually starts with something we're going to do at the women's starting movements retreat, but that's a whole nother whole section. So we're going to have to wait for October for that. But um, our thoughts engender emotions, you know, and just for fun, let's practice this. So um, I'm going to suggest a thought and I want you to say it to yourself and feel in your body. And I'm closing my eyes because it's easier for me to feel my body if I close my eyes. But I'm going to say a thought and then I want you to feel in yourself how, like, like what happens to your, you know, your posture, your emotions, like see if, see what the reaction is. Okay. So here's the first thought we're going to try on. Oh, good, Don, you're a science geek. I love that. So the first thought we're going to try on is, um, um, I don't think it's going to happen. So there's something you want, a particular amount of money, a opportunity to serve someone, opportunity to go present somewhere. And just, and so try on, say to yourself, I don't think it's going to happen. And just notice, is there a feeling and is there a response in your body? What I'm aware of is that I got slumped. I felt like my shoulders went forward, my head goes down kind of this Charlie Brown, like, you know, and I, yeah. And my heart hurt. Yeah. Don, like it felt yucky and my gut kind of twisted. I felt like a little bit of a, uh, yeah. It felt crushing Kelly. Yeah. So let's, let's now we're going to bring in a white light. We're going to cleanse that out of every cell, conscious, subconscious, outer conscious. That's all cleansed. And now, um, try on, think of something you want. Okay. Something that's a goal that you have. And now try on, um, it's already done. It's already done. Just say that to yourself. Run that through your body and see what kind of emotion and posture body response you get.
did anyone else almost feel like you wanted to just go like this or something? Like, was there like a, you know, so go ahead and yeah, you felt relaxation and enjoy, enjoy that time, Don. Yeah. Yeah. Spacious and free and Kelly. Yeah. So those of you on Zoom, I can, I can, I can real time. Those of you on social will go back and read your comments. So try that. So there's a whole, like a whole fun game we could play around this, but what we're doing here is showing the contrast that a thought is going to create a feeling. And then what happens is when that thought creates a feeling and a, and a physical sensation, um, that determines what action we take in many cases until we liberate ourselves and we don't, you know, we, we can take action regardless of how we feel. Right. But, but for most people walking through and, and even me, a lot of the time, like if I think something's not going to work out, I'll, I'll kind of slump, I'll feel like, uh, I'll get really bummed out. And then I'm not, what am I going to do? What am I going to go take action on something? I don't think is going to happen. Hell no. I'm going to go watch Netflix. I'm going to get on email, F around there and do something, you know, not important. Right. <laughs> so anybody else that ever done that? You're just like, Oh, right. Versus um, it's done game on. I can, and I will, those of you in thought leader Academy know, you know, we say that as one of our, our affirmate, I can, and I will like suddenly if I can, I will, I'm, I'm up. Oh, and it's 11, 11 in uh, Chicago right now, you guys, angel, angel number right now. So suddenly I'm, I'm sitting up straight. I'm like, okay, I don't have a plan. I still don't know how, but it's on, it's on. I can, and I will, it's done. So then I start getting into possibility. I start getting creative. I start, you know, I'm not going to go watch Netflix or mess around on an email. I'm going to go take an action. I'm going to reach out to this person, or I'm going to do a visioning, or I'm going to meditate and see, you know, what might that next like great idea be, right? Isn't that exciting? And so with our thought, we'll, we'll, a reaction is going to have a feeling and a sensation. And then that feeling and sensation is going to like, is going to propel us in one direction or another. One direction, it's like the effort button. The other direction is like game on, let's go right? And you're all game on, let's go people because you're here in the thought leader lounge, right? And that's what we're doing together. So, um, so we want to prime our brain. You don't have to believe the thought. This is what's so cool. All the studies, I'm reading a great book called uh, the as if principle, it's very research science-based and um, you don't have to believe it at all. Just start running the thought through. You're going to have a different emotion, a different physical state's going to happen. And then you're going to take different action. Now we can also just, you know, have mastery and say, all right, like I'm going to take action regardless of how I feel. They say great leaders act from vision, not from emotion. Now it's different than intuition. Great leaders act on intuition, but if I'm just going, oh, I don't think I'm good enough. And I feel shame and I feel less than, and I feel lethargic. And I feel, you know, it's like, it's like, well, what's my vision, right? So that's what we're going to get to with the strategy. This was all like a, a warm up to the strategy, which is I want everybody to think of something you really want. It might be the thing that you just tried on with those thoughts. So let's just take a minute, no rush. Just take a moment and decide, you know, this, just even this week, let's make it about this week because we're together every week in the lounge. Like, what do you want this week? So let's just tune into that. I'm going to pick mine now with you. Okay. You got it. All right. Amazing. So now what would the person who achieves this result by Friday? Okay. You don't have to think you just take it that this is where the neuroscience comes in. There's research to show if we ask it in this phrasing, this way, what would, what would someone who wants this goal um, and achieves this goal, what kind of thoughts would they have? So what you're going to do is match some thoughts to that result. All right. Maybe we'll do a demo. I wonder if like, like Don or, or Kelly, you're both on camera. If you're open to doing a little demo, um, let's go through the strategy. And then if one of you feels, feels brave and wants to do it um, here together, we can, we can do a real life example. Because I think sometimes like seeing someone's real example will, will be so inspiring. So first just start, let's take a minute. And, oh, awesome, Kelly. Yes. Okay, great. Let's take a minute and just, just write down. I'm going to do this with you. I'm going to get a new notes file on my phone and let's um, do, what are the thoughts that would, uh, would match that result? 
Okay. We know it's not going to be, it won't happen. Right. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and think of like one to three thoughts that match the result, you, the goal achievement that you have. All right. And if it's, this is confusing to you, no worries. We're going to do an example with Kelly in a minute. All right. I'm going to write down mine. If you're just jumping on, we are picking a goal for the week, something that would thrill you to have happen by the end of the week. And then what thoughts would someone who achieves that goal be thinking on Monday? If you need to close your eyes and breathe, I'm just going to model that for you now. It's totally fine. Just feel into what, would the, what are the thoughts that matches the completion of that goal? Okay, take a breath, stretch for a second. Okay, what are the feelings? What is someone feeling who is achieving this goal this week? Are you feeling radiant, powerful, relieved, <laughs> triumphant? Just feel into it. Like, what would you be feeling? knowing that this is happening for you this week and take some deep breaths as you conjure up, try not to just do it in your head, try to actually feel the feeling. And then pick the primary feeling. Like if there was one main feeling that matches like the one I just got was exhilaration. Okay, take a breath. Yeah, cause you're feeling accomplishment. I love it. Okay, now what actions would someone take who's going to achieve this goal this week? Remember, you're not committing to anything. This is how we prime the brain. We're not, we're not committing just like, what would a person do who's going to achieve that goal by Friday? What, what actions would she take this week? What would they take this week? All right. So let's do that for a minute. I'm just modeling, closing my eyes and feeling, cause sometimes I have to feel it first and then I can write it down. Come up with at least three actions. Bonus if you can do five, because then it's like one a day for the week. I love Don saying you should get up every morning early and work on it. Great. Great. Yeah. It might be like Don did, like it's a structure. It's like every day I do an hour on this, you know, it may not be like a different action, but you block it to a set of time. That's great. Okay. All right. So what we're doing here is we're using the proven science of how results get created, which is thoughts that generate feelings and emotions and physical state that propels action equals results. Okay. That's kind of the formula we're working with Jay. That's the strategy we're working with this week. So we're going to go through Kelly. She's, she's courageously offered to walk us through her. Um, so Kelly, what I'm going to ask you in a moment is to share your goal, um, for the week. And then we're going to go through, you know, what thoughts would someone, right? Kelly isn't committing to anything yet till the end Then we're going to put her on the spot. And <laughs> we're going to do it to ourselves. We're all going to do it together. Right. And we're going to, we're going to walk through this framework because so often we feel so, um, 
like kind of powerless because we sort of have this goal and we don't think, you know, maybe we're running thoughts that are disempowering and we don't realize like we have so much agency. We have so much power to be able to use a strategy like this and just reverse engineer um, the goal to say, what am I thinking? What am I feeling? What am I doing? And that will equal this result. Sometimes within the five days, sometimes not. Yeah, I love it. So um, Kelly, thank you so much for doing this. My pleasure. So um, share with us your goal. Like what, what is, what makes this an epic week for you? I want to hire a VA that can handle all the backend stuff so that I can focus on all the stuff that I'm trying to create and do <clears throat> and just have it like appear in the background and get all the systems Amazing. running. Amazing. Mm -hmm. You're going to who, not how you're going to, you're going to work in your unique brilliance or zone of genius. You know, it's called all these different things. Love it. That is so huge. Okay. Phenomenal. Um, thank you for sharing. It's yes. happening, right? <laughs> so what does someone who's hiring and finding their amazing virtual assistant this week? What does, what is she thinking? I love that you're making us do this because this, this methodology is one that I follow and I love and I teach also, but it's like, you're making me be here and do it. So I'm like, yes. okay, put up my hand. Well, I, and by the way, Kelly, thank you. Just to say so much of the time we, we know the basics, but we maybe not like doing them. So I remember before I'd be like, well, you know, I know it's so good to get eight hours of sleep, but I'm getting six. Well, knowing that it's good to get eight hours of sleep and actually getting eight hours of sleep are totally different things, right? So thank you for, for sharing. This is like, you're like, okay, I get to go back to my fundamentals. All right. So take us through what are, what is she thinking? Someone that finds and empowers this wonderful VA this week. So I had three things that I wrote down. <clears throat> First is there are a ton of people out there who are able to help me. Good, competent, skilled, dependable people who are great at what they do. So there's there are. a ton of them out there. Beautiful. Second thing, yeah. Second thing was it's easy. It's easy to find this perfect person. Yes. <laughs> yes. Because right. It's like, we might have all these, like Kelly's bringing forth what can be the objection. Oh, it's hard. Or there's, I can't trust people or people won't do a good job. So Kelly's reminding yourself, there's amazing people in the world that are very talented at this and it's easy to find them. Yeah. Anything else that was a thought that really supports this result? that I, I already have the resources to find this person and yes. just an affirmation that I'll know right away when I find the right person. Yes. Yes. The answer's in the room, like we mm -hmm. say in Thought Leader Academy, right? You know, the answer, amazing, Kelly. Good. And then how do you start feeling as you start running these thoughts and say them out loud here? What is the feeling that's generated? Um, immediately, I was feeling relieved and excited, yes. powerful and equipped. And then you said the word triumphant. And I'm like, yes, that's it. So yes. this it's like, I'm liberated. I try. Yes. yes. Feeling the excitement just coming off you, like vibrating off you. I love it. So you're feeling relieved. You're feeling powerful. You're feeling excited. You're feeling, you know, triumphant, all these things. Great. Yes. And then what are the actions that you came up with that someone could do? Yep. Um, they or I could yeah. <laughs> first thing is to just write out exactly like a specific list of what I need help with. Like I exactly. know which platform, which software, like I know the things that I've narrowed it down to. So I just want to articulate that specifically, yes. um, open the accounts that I need to, so that it's ready to go for them. Cause I know that like, you know, only I can open my QuickBooks account. Like, you know, you have to do all that security stuff. Yep. Just, oh. So I want to just get everything opened so that Amazing. it's ready for them to connect in the background. Yes. Um, I can ask for recommendations. I'm in a couple of entrepreneurial communities and things like that. I'll ask for recommendations if anyone yes. knows anybody. Yep. Um, I have one website that has been recommended to me by a couple of people for yep. um, overseas Great. VAs. So get on there and post the job that I have with my specific. Yes. After you've written it, you can post it. Beautiful. Exactly. And then you said to do five. So I've won each day. So I'm going to do yes. it. So then, then review the resumes and yes. the submissions. Like we'll review people. And, and because it's easy and because they're great people and the answers in the room, one of those wonderful submissions will be your person. Yeah. I'm going to find them this week. It's going to yes, be great. This week. Yes, it is. Okay. So do you see everyone? First of all, let's give Kelly a huge round of applause. Like <laughs> amazing job on, you know, again, you already know this type of, you know, you know, the strategy, use it. And like, just to, just to put your project through it, you know, sometimes we're like, sometimes I'm sitting in anxiety and I'm like, I have tools that actually 
<laughs> like, am I, you know, let me just put it through. So really good job. How many of you that are on Zoom, so I can see your comments right now, know that Kelly's finding this person? Like, just put me in the chat. If you know, you're like, yeah, game on. Like, Kelly's finding her person this week. I even yeah. got a recommendation in the chat. Okay. Look it. See? Look it. Get this in the room. I love Thank it. You. And the other thing, so many people are having huge success, like just even on Facebook, like saying, here's what I'm looking for. Do you know someone who, you know, even that type of post, you know, in addition to the, I've, I've used more of the job sites um, to connect with people, but I love this so much, Kelly. And the other thing is, I just want to throw out one little um, offering when you write out your description, like it's your want add to the universe, yeah. right? Um, this is for all of us. If we are looking to either collaborate or hire or whatever, um, I have found proportionally more incredible connections with team and collaborators when I get as specific as possible for what I truly, truly desire. So for example, I um, used to just put, you know, things like here are the duties, you know, here's proficient in this, here's what you'd be doing every week, you'd be responsible, which is wonderful. It's specific, it's clear. I would say estimated X hours a week. Like I had great clarity, but what I wasn't doing is also tuning into like the qualities and sort of the energy. So then I started doing things like I am looking for a unapologetic perfectionist. And I even put that as a headline for a job at one point. I was like, like someone who prides themselves on being a perfectionist because this was a job in that particular position was going to be about double checking things, making sure reservations travel, like it was a personal assistant type of thing. And so um, the details were crucially important. But I also had said, you know, someone who's up vibe, loves like positivity and a little bit woo. And I mean, I just went for it, you know, and I just added some of the person that I know I'm going to enjoy working with. I think I can really be of service to as a leader. And the proportion of like right fit happened so quickly. Like I found it, like, since I started doing that piece, I found people like so fast, you know, and Kelly, you might already do that. It might've been part of your process, but in case anyone else watching doesn't, I didn't used to do it. I kind of thought that was a private thing, but like, it was so perfect because people would be repelled. They're either like, dude, no, or they were like, that is freaking me. That's, That's me. Such Great advice, Sarah. Thank you so much. Yes, I have seen other people do that, and I, but it wasn't top of mind. So thank you for for clarifying that. Yeah. That's a great yeah. piece of that advice. Be an extra little magnet. So let's give Kelly a round of applause. <laughs> Woo! Rock in the loud. Thank I you. Love thank that you. is so hot. I love this. It's so good. So everybody who's here on Zoom, and if you're on social, put it in the comments. Did did you get something out of this exercise? Like Kelly was saying, I know to do it, but this was helpful to actually do it around this goal. Put what you got out of it in the chat. Was it, are you more clear? Do you feel more like inspired that it's going to happen? Did you get an action step you wouldn't have thought of? Like, let's celebrate. Kelly, you got clear on your action. Yeah, great. What, what did everybody, what came through for you with this strategy? So we can really, I, we ask these kind of questions in coaching so it integrates. It's like, yeah, this is helpful. You know, what I got out of it is I knew some actions already, but what I got was like more buy-in. I started feeling like excited. I felt like for me this time around, it was about connecting to the energy of this goal being done. Like the emotion was, was really, um, it felt really good. I feel like I'm expanded around the possibilities. Yeah. You got excitement too, John, John, for because you got more clarity other times when I do this, it's like, it's the action steps. Like I go, Oh my God, I wouldn't have even thought to do it. Right. So you could use this every single week. You could use it at the start of every day. What's my most important goal? And then I'm going to think, what are the thoughts? What are the feelings and, and physical state? What actions? And then you decide if you're going to do it. Now, Kelly was already all in. She, Kelly's like, I'm, I'm game on, right? So I want to ask everybody, who is going to do this this week? Who's going to follow through? You did the, the most important part today, which is getting clear on the thoughts, feelings. Who is going to take your actions? And I'm going to put me in the chat because I am taking mine and they're not comfortable. I definitely got some play big actions came through. So I'm going to do this with you. We get to do it together and then we'll come back next week. And I want to hear from those of you that did it. I want you and those of you on social posts in the comments so we can read, you know, what opened up because I know any of these places, there's a, there's a phenomenon in holistic um, studies, which is that if you up level one piece of a system, the whole thing goes up. So you, if you even just up-level your thoughts, 
cause is nodding. You know it, cause, right? If you up level your thoughts, everything else is going to jump, right? Your emotions, your physical state, your actions, your results. You could you could enter the equation just focused on actually like, you know, I feel like so this is when I I use it, I focus on action when I feel like crap. That's just gonna be really honest. When I'm feeling maybe I'm triggered, maybe something didn't go so well, maybe I got a bad night's sleep, like whatever, right? If I'm feeling off, I'll still do the whole equation, but I will really focus on my entry point of action. So like, hey, I feel like on Friday night, I was so like, oh, I'm going to sleep in Saturday. I just get that. I'm talking about sleep a lot today, just because, you know, whatever. But um, probably my dog got sick. My dog ate something in the yard and he was up like every 20 minutes. And what are you going to do? He's like a sweet little animal. It's like, it's not his fault. But I was like, oh, no, like my beautiful night of sleep. So Saturday I woke up and I didn't feel amazing, right? Just because we had, we didn't get, a, my husband and I were up a lot of the night. So I thought I can either feel again, like, again, what thoughts was I running? Oh, it's going to be hard. And today's not going to feel good because I wanted to have some um, really fun time with my husband and son. And then I wanted to do some creative work that I was excited to do. And um, I wanted to take a long walk in nature. And so I thought, oh, I can either feel like the thoughts can be like, oh, it's not going to be a good day. Or, Or I say, hey, I feel tired, a little cranky, a little like, do dazed, you know, when you're just not super focused. And then I thought, well, like, what if, um, what if I just do all the actions I was going to do anyway, not from my ignore my body thing, but I was like, I could still take a walk. I just have to be a slow walk, but I could still take a walk. Um, I could still have a great time cooking and doing some stuff, my husband and son. And then like, I could, do 20 minutes of my creative work, just see if it, if it feels fun. See if I've got some bandwidth for it. I had a great freaking day. I had a great day. By the end of the day, I almost didn't remember. I hadn't had much sleep. You know, I was just like, I'm tired, ready to go to bed. I went to bed at like 8.30. <laughs> you know, I was like, tonight we're going to bed, you know. But I mean, so so sometimes I just start with the action. It's like, I'm not going to feel amazing. And my thoughts are a little, Ear. so like, let me just take the action that I was excited to take. And I, I did feel creatively inspired. I had a great walk and I had a good time with my family. So, so you can enter it in the thought, you can enter in emotions with state change, put on great music. You can, you can jump up and down on a trampoline. If you happen, I don't have one in my home, but if you have one, that's super fun. You can, um, you know, do a legs up against the wall. You know, you can change your emotions and your state um, or watch something really funny. I think laughter to me is such a great state change. So I'll just go on Instagram or TikTok and find some silliness and, you know, just laugh. Right. And then suddenly I'm in a different state. So you can enter this equation anywhere you want to get a higher result and then everything's going to pop up. Okay. So I'm really excited. Golden retriever, video, yeah, puppy videos, like kids acting like adults, you know, they have all this fun, little, little sassy kids, you know, doing funny things. Right. So, right. Kelly, you've got a playlist of YouTube babies to help. Exactly. This is awesome. You guys, this is awesome. So this is our work. We're going to use this strategy, thoughts, emotions, thoughts, emotions, actions equals results to get our result this week. And it gets to be the best week of our lives so far. We just get to, we declare it. So I am thrilled that we got to be here today. We're going to be on next week. I do have some guests coming in September. So please feel free to put in the comments or the chat or email us and let us know, what do you want to learn more about? You know, it's like, Sarah, I wish you would talk about this. I'd love you to have someone come on and talk about, there's something you are excited for us to do in the lounge. Um, I do have some fun guests coming in September. They're going to rock your world. And I am always available to throw out whatever we had on the agenda and do, okay, writing strategies on, I love it. Let's do a whole, a whole thought leader lounge on strategies. I mean, are you just so I prepare for that, Don, are you feeling like, um, craft, like the actual, like craft of writing to make the writing really sing? Okay. Amazing. All day long. I'm here for that. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. We'll do a craft week. Um, you're all amazing. Let's go rock it. Let's go out there and get into action and make sure you take at least one of those actions before you go to bed tonight. Because there is a phenomenon called the law of diminishing returns, if you've heard of that. And so it's like, as soon as you're going to get the inspiration, in fact, I'm going to take one now before my next coaching session, just so that I get that momentum going. All right. So you with me? Woo! 
We're going to do this. Amazing. Only other announcement is that Women Starting Movements, our fall um, amazing conference that's in Chicago in October, is sold out. It sold out over the weekend. Um, so if you already have a ticket to that, yay. We can't wait to see you. If you didn't get one and still want one, we are opening the wait list today because sometimes people's plans change, right? Like sometimes people thought they could come and they can't or whatever. And so we will um, be confirming with everybody that's registered. And if a spot opens up, we'll message you right away. So just send an email to care. I'll put it in the chat. And if team, we can put it on the social platforms, care at sarahcanel.com. If you don't have a ticket to Chicago and you want to come and be with us, it's going to be, now that we know it's like sold out, busting at the seams, the energy is going to be absolutely fire. It's going to be insane. And we can't wait to have massive breakthroughs. We're going to do more in three days than most people do in a year. And we're going to set a trajectory for you to finish this year out, like with true miracles. And I've had it happen so many times where something looked impossible in September and it happened by December. And that's what we're going to be about at this event. It's going to be absolutely awesome. And I can't wait to do it with you. So um, just send an email if you want to get on the list. If you already have your tickets, then, you know, game on. We will be together very soon. I was uh, having so much fun working on it yesterday. And let's just go. Let's go out there and rock it this week. I'll see you all next week. Bye-bye.